Hey guys, today is Monday, April 11th, and, and that brings us to peak week number three of this bikini prep series. I can't believe that this is the last bikini update of the spring, although I've been doing these forever, kind of flew by. But then I think back to like when I started in December and it seems like a lifetime ago. Updates this week, my weight actually went up a pound and normally I would be completely beside myself freaking out about that, but I've been taking a nine point fat, body fat percentage caliper test every four days and it lets you know your lean mass and your fat percentage. And my body fat percentage is actually going down. According to the one that I just did this morning, I am in the high 13% range. And caliper testing is pretty accurate and it's gone down about a percentage of body fat per week over the last four weeks and my lean mass has increased. So that weight being stagnant, for me, I know it's actually a good thing because it means I'm putting on lean mass and losing fat, and that's why the scale's not moving. So I highly, highly recommend for any of you who are having issues with the scale to try and find someone who knows what they're doing as far as pinch test with a caliper and try to use that as a method of tracking your progress. It really has helped me mentally the last couple weeks. If I didn't have that, I'd be completely freaking out. I'm a week out and I'm heavier and what's going on and this is crazy and I'm doing everything right. And I would just be, you know, like going over and over in my head what I did wrong to gain that weight. But using a pinch test with a fat caliper, it's just, more reliable than a scale because the scale doesn't tell the whole story and it's good for me this week being in peak week to know that and it's good for all of you who might have stalled out and can't figure out why. So that's the weight update. I was 139 this morning and I'm cool with that. <laughs> I might just be you know like at the end of prep and kind of like whatever it is what it is now. As far as how I'm feeling energy-wise, not bad. The beginning of the day is great. The middle of the day, I start to lag, and by the end of the day, I'm pretty worthless. But that is pretty standard, and I'll take it because I have a very, very productive morning and afternoon most days, and I have been able to kind of like make all the important things in my day happen then so that I get it done. And then I save the night for mindless things. Like I do a lot of like arts and crafts type stuff for my job job. And I will save that for the night because it's mindless or like video editing that doesn't take a whole lot of mental capacity. Like yesterday I was at the gym lifting um, and I had already done fasted cardio in the morning. And then I ate and I went to the gym and I was there for a long time and I was supposed to do hit after but I was just tired and hungry, so I came home and ate, and I did some work, did some laundry, hung out with the dogs, and then I went out and I ran sprints later in the day, and I just felt so much better, like having food in my stomach, and sometimes you have to do that, especially like on the weekends when you have the time to do that. So that was good, but I've been doing stuff like that a lot, like manipulating my schedule around how I feel, where I used to not let how I feel like dictate my schedule. Um, but being in the end of prep, sometimes you gotta do that type of thing. <laughs> I am drinking two gallons of water a day now leading up to Thursday where I cut back to three quarters of a gallon, Friday's half a gallon, Saturday is stage. As you know, if you've been watching these videos, my third and final show is going to be the Indiana Natural in Indianapolis. It's about two hours away from my house. Friday night, we'll be staying at a hotel. I try to get the host hotel, but it's all booked up, so there's like a Holiday Inn across the street if we have to use that. I'm on a waiting list to get in to the La Quinta that is hosting the athletes. We have really good friends that live in Indy, so they're gonna come to the show Saturday night, and then we're all gonna go out and enjoy a meal together, and I'm so excited because we haven't seen them for a long time. And the last time we saw them, I was in prep. 
they were actually at our New Year's Eve party and I was lame and couldn't, I mean, I obviously enjoyed it, but we're gonna go kind of celebrate together after and have, a, I don't know what we're gonna eat, eat something and then stay at their house and come home Sunday. So it's gonna be a whole weekend. I'm so excited. My carbs last week were at 130 and I'm dropped down to 100 grams of starchy carbs. Um, so I'm keeping carbs in this peak week, which is different, and I'm really excited to see what it does. I think I'm gonna come in a lot fuller. I'm hoping that my shoulders and my abs stay fuller than they did the first couple shows when I was eating keto leading up, and get that definition on stage that I feel like I was lacking, especially the first show, I was super flat. So we'll see how this goes and every show is kind of an experiment that way. I feel like a lot of people that compete, they're like, I'm only gonna compete in this show if I'm lean enough or if I feel like I'm ready. And they prep and they put all the work in and then two weeks out they're like, I'm not lean enough, I'm not competing. And I totally get that and I see where they're coming from but I don't think that the experience that you get is replaceable. Like. Even if you're not as lean as you can possibly be, which I know I'm not this prep, and every prep you get a little bit better, but you learn so much when you do a show. Your stage presence, how your body reacts to different things throughout peak week. You meet people, you learn how a show is run, and doing multiple shows in one season has taught me so much that I would have never learned otherwise so i highly highly recommend if you do prep for a show go and do it even if you don't feel like you're ready or like lean enough do it <sighs> you'll learn a lot i promise it's not all about taking home that first place trophy sometimes it's really about the knowledge especially if you want to compete in the future and continue on in the sport it's so important to know first of all like what you're getting into second of all know your body each time that you go through a peak week you can make little adjustments and changes and see how it affects you on show day like carb timing is so important carb amounts protein amounts fat amounts all of that comes into play on show day and you don't know until you go through it and you try it so i highly encourage anybody who is in prep and is like so so on doing a show to commit to the show and just do it no matter what when that day comes you will learn something you will get something out of it all right now that i had my spiel i feel like i just need to like say a lot because this is my last update but i'm gonna do i'm sure multiple recaps multiple like looking back type videos um and refer to these shows a lot to come after this Hopefully, we will have a building season series. Not hopefully, we will. And put on a bunch of muscle because I'm ready to eat food. Lots of food. I'll still be tracking in the off season. I just am going to be upping my calories so that I can build muscle. I'll be putting on some fat because that's inevitable, but I'm just ready to work really hard in the gym and make gains as cliche as that might sound. But I'll show you guys my progress pictures this week. I'm gonna show you just the last two weeks, so the difference a week made for me. time I did change up that posing so my side pose is different than all the progress pictures you've seen in the past but I think it's a lot more flattering for my body and that's another thing that you learn going through shows is little things like posing what looks better what feels better and as your body changes your posing will change but 
that's another story. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to tackle this peak week to the best of my ability. I'll keep you guys updated. I will do a full day of eating at some point in the week. Maybe tomorrow I'll film that and get it up Wednesday or Thursday for you guys. Thumbs up if you found this video helpful at all or if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.